Hey friends, in this video I thought I'd break down a couple of things that I do to stay organized at home or to keep things organized. Things like drawers, cables, just being less cluttered, keeping less stuff, you know, that sort of thing. Or useful things that I've found that you can buy or make and that have made my life a lot easier in terms of organization as well as just storage and storing stuff. So while you can go out and buy certain things like boxes or, you know, containers for storage, you can always usually find these things at home and reuse what you have. For example, small delivery boxes, little containers that you get chocolates in, stuff like that you can reuse. For me, I, I prefer to reuse all those things where some people may prefer the more modern look of, you know, specific boxes, specific things that are bought. But that's entirely up to you. If you're interested, I have a video on five simple waste-free swaps that you can do. If you're interested to check it out, just click the link here. So the first one is to compartmentalize your drawers. By using small boxes or containers for drawers and placing things in those little containers in the drawer, it makes it so much easier to keep stuff organized, keep it neat. It's so much easier to find things because what I found was you'd have a drawer, you'd organize it, you'd put everything nicely in it. After a few weeks or months, it ends up just being all together and obviously depends what you have in the drawer, but a lot of the times it all becomes shuffled and things are everywhere and that means every few months or every few weeks you have to go and reorganize it, you know, do it again. Whereas using these compartments, I find it really stays a lot more organized and it stays a lot neater. You have a certain place for certain things and whenever you take stuff out or put it back, it always goes back into that same compartment and that same space. I like to use boxes that I have lying around the house already or little containers that I have that I'm not using just to get them reused and you know give them a little bit of a purpose. Many stores have little containers, little compartments that you can buy. You want a certain look if that's what you're more worried about. So the second thing is cable organization. You can always go buy these specific cable organizers, cable clips and stuff like that. I find that these paper sort of clip things work really well for my purpose. There's quite a few sort of clip things that you can actually reuse or use to organize cables. A YouTube search will find plenty of different ideas and really good ideas. For me, this clip really helps with my cables just on my desk for my phone and my watch. Number three, the third thing is these little shelves, metal shelves that you can just slip under your cupboard shelves. Really help with adding a little bit more space in your cupboards if you need it because usually you don't really fill up your whole entire shelf in your cupboard. So there's usually that space at the top. And if you have a few extra things, these under shelf shelves actually help a lot in terms of giving you a little bit more space in your cupboards. I'm not saying you should add more stuff and keep more stuff, but sometimes we have a small space, so it's definitely help for that. Likewise, these little metal shelves that you can put in your kitchen cupboards or, well, anywhere, that give you that extra space to use the extra height in your cupboards really go a long way. I've found that I've been able to maximize a lot more space in my kitchen cupboards just by using these shelves. It really helps, again, to maximize the space in the cupboards and use that, that extra height that you miss out on using within the cupboards. You can only stack things so much. It's fine to stack things like stack plates, but taking them out, putting them back in becomes a real struggle slap you know so these really make it convenient and easy to store stuff and to take things out and put them back so much easier. So the first tip that I'll give is that in terms of cable management again I do use one of those cable wrap organizers for some of the cables but especially at my desk when there's a lot of other cables and a lot of uh, thicker cables I just found that just using string to tie up those certain cables tie them to to the desk it was an easy and simple way just to keep the cables together, keep them out of the way. When all else fails, just find some string, tie it up, wrap up the cables, and I think you'll be good to go. Then some general tips, I thought. Some people have a lot of stuff on the kitchen counters, you know. You may find that you have so many different appliances and they're kept all on the kitchen counter, but maybe they're only used once a month or something like that. If you can, try to keep them out of, out of sight, put them in cupboards, create more space on your kitchen counters. At the same time, make it easy for you to take them out and put them back if you have the space of course what you may find is having that extra space just gives you that less claustrophobic feeling so to speak maybe that's not everyone but I definitely find that it helps just feeling less cluttered less claustrophobic like there's more space to do stuff 
So the last tip is just to remember not to keep too much stuff. Remember to go through all your stuff, try to clear out what you're not using because over time we tend to accumulate a lot of stuff. We don't get rid of it so it just sits in our cupboards, accumulates space when you know it could be out there being used by someone, being put to good use, not occupying your space. So always remember just to every few months or weeks go through some things whether it's a small drawer, small cupboard shelf whatever the case is good way is to sell your stuff put it on facebook marketplace easiest place to sell so yeah so thanks for watching i hope these tips were useful if you have any organizational tips of your of your own please do leave them in the comments i'll, I'll really love to check them out and try to implement them in my life as well so the first one is to cop cop mentalize compartmentalize so the first one the first one so the first tip is to cop cop so the first one is to car so the first one is to come compartmentalize 